Welcome back, everybody, to Farming Simulator 19 here on Long Oak Farm. I want to say Rainy Oak, Rainy Oak Farm. Uh, but we we got all the bells done. Uh, got them all to field. Got a load in the shop. Got a load in the thing. I'm going to show you. But I brought the tractor up here. I'm fixing to talk to the sales guy. We're going to sell the mower there. And we might trade the 6M in. We're going to see. Hang on. Let's see what we get. All right. We're going to sell this for $15,355. All right. That brings us to one twenty-three. I'm going to see what they're going to... We're going to let them repair it first. $210. We're going to get $113. Uh, uh, I get more than that. 113518 I'm going to go ahead and sell it. I know I'm going to be madly in debt here, but uh, we got 236 Now let's uh, look at that tablet here and see if they have a tractor I've been looking at. Uh, I think it was in the mediums. Uh, I wish I'd looked and see. Yeah, 6M is the medium. But I'm thinking about we might get a 7R or, or the case Puma. Matter of fact, got more horsepower. And, um, but it's going to be expensive. Uh, if I can get it to go. Uh, there we go. Uh, we don't. We don't need the crawler tracks, not at all. Um, uh, we're probably going to go to these wide tires or wheel weights. I'm um, actually thinking about going with the skinnies. Because we can use this tractor to spray with, too. Got the twin wheels, we got wide tires. As it go with the wide tires right now. Uh, let's get the global system. Let's get the maxed out engine. Let's see. Is that 300? Yeah. 300 is the max. 234. Whew. I bet that's going to put it 236. Even I just barely got enough money. Oh, you got to be kidding me. But that's, that's everything right there, folks. Uh, we got the front loader. I should have changed the front loader. Well, I think I'm going to go with red. I really do. Because the 6R don't have 300 horsepower. The 7R don't have the narrow wheels like I want. Well, we're going to get something red for the farm. Yes, I'm buying it. And we got some bales to sell here in a couple days or so. So, but I'm going over and show you what I was thinking about. Here's a 6R Custom, and then we got 6M by Stevie, and 6R, and 720, and then the 78 6R. And we got these over here, but I just, they're not. I don't have nothing that satisfied me, you know? Okay, it's still raining. Boy, they moved that tractor fast. Where's mine? Oh, out front. Oh, they got this door locked. Why? Why? Why I like a big door? Oh, I'm going to get wet. Oh, well, folks. I think I want to hang out in the tractor. I'm going to work my way back to the farm, and hopefully it stops raining soon, and I'll bring y'all back. Well, let's look inside first. Oh, she sounds good. Got a little sunroof, radio, air, as long as we've got AC. Buddy C. Oh, God, that's a big fire signature. Buddy C. Looks like it might be a cooler under the Buddy C. Yeah, um, yeah, I'll bring y'all back here in a minute. I'm gonna get used to this tractor. $337 there. Wow. Uh, one thing, I'm gonna stop right here real quick and show y'all this. 
this is today. It's still today, right? Here's today. So it's going to rain here at what? What is that? Six o'clock, maybe somewhere on there. And, and Saturday, it's going to rain between nine and twelve. And I don't have a time on that. And then we got Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday partly cloudy. And uh, Wednesday and Thursday rain again. Right here, drying potential is Saturday between these times. Maybe uh, Saturday morning we can mow a little bit. I just know wind speed picks up a little bit there, but I just, I don't know, folks. I ain't never played season, so yeah. Well, I played season before, but now I'm not taking, you know what I mean? Ooh, 32 mile an hour. We get back to shop no time. All right, folks, I will be right back. All right. <clears throat> I got the red tractor back, and it finally, here is what, almost 3 o'clock in the evening, it finally stopped raining. But we got some more rain on the way. Um, got the planter going. Because that uh, leaf I kind of up there stopped. So I'm feeling a little bit safe to plant now. He's not supposed to be turning around like that. But okay, he's seems to be going the right way. I want to make sure he's not going back that way. Messing everything up. So he looks good there. There's our bales. Um, I don't know if I'm going to sell these or not. Because I got... A uh, load and a half over the other side of the pasture over there. And all of these are 800. Let's see here. Let's get my. No, I don't want to spray them. Does. Definitely don't want to cut the straps. Uh, 9.05. 66 hours to go for their fragmented. I don't see me losing none, so I'm going to actually keep these on the trailer in here. That's going to be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. So 22 bales on the trailer. Check one on this side. Because I think I got gypped the other day. I sold them way too early because they wasn't even fragmented yet, according to this. 8.83. 66 hours to go. So, yeah. Got a little bit to go on them. But, uh. I don't know really what we can do. I know we need to plant, but I'm kind of scared to. Right now, we can plant soybeans. I guess we'd take the bell tractor and put it on the cedral. Because that'd be a little bit before we can bell hay. That's our new baler we got. I don't know if y'all seen that or not. I'm going to put those uh, inserts in right here. The picks where I was selling something. I can't remember what I was selling. I'm going to insert them right now. All right. I can't remember what tractor I uh, done. Uh, I think it was 8400, wasn't it? Instead of the, uh, what we got here? 82, 8245 or. I read that front end the way up. I love this tank on the front of this thing, but it just sticks out there so long. Um. The field we're going to plant and beans is going to be right over across there where we took out the, uh, the whatchamacallit, the thumb of the forest, as I call it. Uh, so, yeah, I put uh, the bat wing more in the shed. I also put the big more in the shed. 
Um, these things are pretty good sealed waterproof. So I'm not worried about them being out. And, but I am concerned about it being too wet. So I don't know. Might try planting tomorrow or something. I don't know. But I figure I could at least bring it out here and get it ready. And I probably should have put some seed in it first. But you know how I am. It needed fertilizer. But we got the tender truck we can use. There you can see the bales in front of us where I stacked them. See, well, I'm going to park this right here, bring the truck out, fill them up before I go any further. Oh, we still got our semi. We'll park that there. We'll walk back over here and I'll show you the uh, bales. Put down two of those things. You know, I put some grass over it. Made it look a little bit better. But this right here is where they unload. And you just kind of pull up right through here. And they'll stack automatically. Um, don't think you need, Yeah, no information. You have to actually go in here. And I just push down on the left stick. 51 bales, it can hold 110, uh, 8,000 liters each, with a total of 408,000 liters, fragmenting 51 bales. So, I don't think they will tell us the time on the fragmenting, but, um, let's see, A to confirm, B back, and X is fragmenting. Oh, Okay. It does. It does tell us remaining time. 66 hours pretty much on all of it. I bet you can get what number you want out like this in here. Oh. Can't get the number? Okay. Oh. But anyway, that's that deal. I'll uh, put another one here back behind that, live with all this over to the fence. I got another one we can put right here so we can have plenty of silage bales. Um, wood chipper. I, I can't remember getting wood chips in or not. But uh, yeah, I'm in the process of well, the wheat field after we harvest it is going to be a grass field. So all this in here is going to be grass where we can make hay. And sullage bales. And uh, I'm thinking about going ahead and getting some cows because uh, since, well, when we get wheat harvested, that way we can get the straw. We got the sullage and we got the water. So, other than that, man, I need to get a, a little small mule or something to ride around in too to shake the fences. And Look like they can get out through here because you can come in here and walk right through here. There's no gate. Why I put a gate in there? Can I close this gate? There's no trigger for this gate. Okay, this just looks because I don't see no trigger. Okay. But yeah, they can just come right in here and mostly right on out. Unless they're too big for this door. But I did slow time down to one so we can get through with the corn planting. Um, who we got out there? Does it say? Yeah, of course, Philip. I, I gotta learn how to change these names. Um, I think it's Control and Squiggly Line. No, Alt and Squiggly Line. Shift. Or is it the back? Right, it's supposed to be one of these. But I guess not. Hmm. I don't know, folks. It's supposed to be a way you can open the, the worker mode. Uh, we're probably going to take that tether. Not tether, but uh, weeder. And swap it out for the oven. When it goes a little bit faster. And we, oh yeah, this tractor needs fuel, so I guess we can do it real quick. 
set up in here while it's filling. Or does it tell? I wish it would actually sell the hose going into the tank. See, so if I have GE, I could swap, this, take this and completely out of the game and put one that we can fill with fuel. You know, go from the store and get fuel. I didn't fill it away. $214 just for that much. Um, why did it stop? Um, R start filling. Oh, it's not filling because I'm out of money. Well, crapola. Okay, well, I'm going to leave us here. We're going to go do something. We're going into negatives. Oh, yeah, this bell right here. We need to get this bell up. We get our equipment inside, too, because it's supposed to be raining again. So let's go around here. Um, yeah, there's the bells. And I got the mower there. Let's see what we're. Let's get the disc in here. Start this baby up. Look my PDA real quick. He is a little. A little over half of that field, so it's going to take him a little bit. Now, before y'all chew me out, y'all just hold your horses. I know this is green that I'm hooking up to, if it'll hook up. Yay, it hooked up. Green on red doesn't look too hot. I know that. and Don't scold me for that, okay? Let's see. This one... We'll load that, but we need to get on the trailer somehow. Or we can take it out there and load it in the pile, I guess. Which I ain't hurting nothing there. I just need to move it over a little bit so nobody will run into it. Um, folks, I really don't know what else to do right now. Um, I know it's going to start raining again, but I hate to start loading uh or start getting out there and planting i guess we could go load the planters let me get this here the hook to that yeah all right good that tricycle thing we're probably going to end up selling it i guess i, I really don't know we can always put the um that auger thing back on it and we'll take it off the truck but it's really no biggie I don't guess They're not going to bring that much money back ooh all these are open let's open this bell this shed up here I guess this could be a bell shed too both of them are going to open I know uh, it opens both. Really? Only one door is going to open. kind of tight I don't know if we can get it back in there or not probably not I gotta swear both of those doors open I'll tell you what I know what I'm gonna do this bell right here oh we can 
backing in right there. That'll work. And then uh, I guess, folks, we're going to... I guess I can see if I can do a contract for somebody. Maybe we got a fertilizer mission open. I got a little bit of fertilizer we can fertilize with. Of course, I need to get those seeds. Whoa, whoa. Hitting the wall, Mr. Blue. That's what I get for vlogging and trying to back a tractor up. There. Perfect. Unhook. Okay, dokie. Uh, let's go put this guy in the shed for right now. Let's park him in here. I'll let that down just a little. All right, we're going to go over here, your truck. I want to show y'all the seeds. Oh, I can't fit through there. Can I fit through here? Well, I've never been to any here. All right, cool. Where's our truck? Right here's our truck. I don't know if that's going to work or not, but we're going to try it. I'll probably go get some fertilized. But I'm gonna see if we can put seeds in this first. Yeah, 99 point four bushels. All right. Whoa, pull up a little bit. That's our seed maker. It takes herbicide and wheat or barley or any type of grain. Uh, as you can see here, herbicide. We got 2,000 liters or is it, no 900. 30 liters left and put some wheat or barley in there we can have some more seeds and uh, well, it fills up to 50,000 liters capacity over there so yeah um, we need a, a fertilizer maker now all right we'll go drop these seeds off and we'll go get some fertilizer probably take a pickup truck and go get a bag or something. We don't need that much. I don't know why I go through here. I just gotta circle all the way back around. You know, I'm thinking about going ahead and plant some. At least it'd be some seeds in the ground. I like planting it at different types. That way we'll know a little bit more about seasons kind of log it down how and we planted it and stuff all right get out from under these power lines and uh, there we go Okay, that is not going to work like I thought it would. Yeah, let's see. No, we don't want to unload. Open cover. So that and open that and, and open that. And. Yeah, I don't look like they need very much seed. Always getting in on the wrong side. It should be seeds right there. Up oh, there it goes. I just went over it. All right, now fill the other two up. Oh, what did the cows or? 
What did the farmer talk to the cows about at night time? Or something like that. I can't remember how it goes. What did the farmer say to the cows at night time? Stay tuned to the end of this video and I'll tell you or show you. All right. Uh huh. Put this back down. I thought we are going to take more seeds than that. The only thing about this, it don't have a tarp to it. Now, I could put them in the... Uh, Tell you what, I better go ahead and close that. You know what? I ain't got a picture. Can I get a picture? I sure got a picture while I had that raised. Let me close these before it rains. What am I doing getting there ain't no door there? I gotta stop that. That'd be a little bit more realistic, you know. I can't look at if I, if I go get in, I'll throw the tractor because I got the muscle mod on. And you see there, X throws object. So that's why I don't look at the tractor when I get in. Just in case y'all was wondering that. I don't need to fertilize. I could see how long. Let me go ahead and set this thing up. We gotta get planting. Ain't no telling when the rain to come. So let's see. I think I'm on. The, nope, wrong one. Wanna do that? And I'm just gonna do a complete full circle and undo the hooding. Then spread my fangs out and hook up to both of them. The only thing about this setup here, it takes it a little bit to get it all set up. Get it set up? It takes a little bit to get it set up. Okay, I need to quit my day job, huh? Okay, about right there. Now, all I gotta do is back up in between them. Okay, and pull up a little bit. Right. I just let the tractor front end up and down. Right. That's letting that now. Oh, that's letting that now. No, no, no. I got to go back to one now. There we go. Because I let it all the way out. And then I pull it back in just a little. And then let this one all the way out. And pull it back in just a little. Okay. Just a little. About like that. That way I won't overlap. Now I can't remember how I've done this. Really. But I'm going to get the ends last. I know that. I really need to take a truck back and park it. Oh, hey. Semi's right here. Because I'm going to start right here. And... Actually, I need to start at the top. I really do. But I'm going to park right here. I'm going to give it just a little bit. When did it say it's going to rain? Uh, what time is it now? It is 15.01, 3 o'clock. Um, today. So, it, about three hours from now. Of course, that's what it was saying earlier, and it started raining right away. So, go figure, right? I'm going to jog over here, get this truck take it back put it under 
and we'll go check on the corn planter because they can plant beans too if I can get both of them started let's see 8400 has 15% left of seeds so you know what I might well just take this truck over and fill them up with some seeds hmm I think I'm going to see if the uh, neighbors has any work for me to do. Because I hate being in the negatives and this rain chance, I just don't know. Maybe I need to take a chance and go ahead and plant. Because it's showing I can plant right now. I don't have no wet symbol or nothing up there. So I think I'm going to go ahead and try it, folks. But I'll probably do that off screen. Whoa. Let's stop in here real quick and see how our chickens are doing. They still got one box. 116 liters. They're like they're doing all right. It's not like they're doing all right. All right. Ooh, he's on the right end too. I bet you won't get to him too. Sorry about that, Punk. That's the uh, radio squips going off there. Somebody in range, but they're not strong enough to talk, and it just creates a, a terrible mess. Hopefully, he'll stop. Hey, he's almost done with this field. Good. Hey, well, I'm going to go ahead and get set up, and we'll get him when he comes back. Because he's going to take off. Yep. Or back up down through the field. But anyway, folks. Uh, did that take? I don't know if that took or not. But anyway, I'm going to get off here. I hope y'all enjoyed this. Uh, wasn't really that much to do today, but at least we got a new tractor to help out with the spraying and the chore. Kind of like a chore tractor. Um, I'm going to finish this field here off screen, move him to the other side, and I think I'm just going to fast forward till tomorrow morning. And uh, we only got one more one field of plant left. Let's go into our menu. Alright, I'm using the pause on the OBS and I just hope that's working right. I don't know if it delays a little bit or what, but yeah, I'm using OBS. But uh, anyway, folks, let me zoom out here just a little bit more because we actually own this ground here too. And uh, we got to put somebody in this house. Uh, we already said we put Bo and Mr. Yankee up here on this part here. Because we own this here. I'm going to show you the land. See, we own the, those areas and the sheep farm. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to take this about right there. I got grass on, fruit types. We got uh, sunflowers and corn. And we got wheat here. And this here is going to be a big field of soybeans. It's going to be a huge field of soybeans. Um, you can see 34 and 35 can be cut right now. It's nothing but grass. And we also got some right over here that we can cut. And we can get some sheep if we wanted to. But I do see some other fields popping up. Uh, 22 and this up here. Well, that's grass. Might do a grass mission for a farmer or something, but I don't, I don't know. Field 3 is ready. Uh, what are they? <laughs> They're all grass fields. That sounds about right. But as far as us, our grass fields do need me to plowed. But I'm going to wait a little bit on the plowing. The lime, I need it. Wait, I took the wrong one away. We need lime all over. So I'm thinking... Not this year, but after we harvest 
32, 42, and 29, we'll have enough money hopefully then to come in and lime all of our fields. We'll have them laid out and plowed like we wanted and redo. I'm going to plow them this winter and probably do the lime this winter after harvest. So that way when we'll go into next year planting, everything be lined and plowed and ready and we'll get more uh, bushels per acre and stuff like that. So, um, yeah. I'm probably going to take the baler up here, mow this grass, but I don't know what to do with grass bales. We might have to set up one of those things like we did for the sellage bales up here to store our grass bales so they won't disappear on us. But other than that, folks, um, yay, we got fertilized missions. 24, 26, and 45. 26 is right there. What'd I say? 20, oh, our, our chickens need to be it doesn't halfway on food. Uh, fill eight, fill four, eight and four has got to be up here somewhere. Field four is there. Where's field eight? Right there. I probably got enough to do eight. I want to take some of these fertilized contracts, folks, and do them. And uh, yeah, so. Till next time, I hope y'all enjoyed. Um, yeah, I kind of like it set up. I just wish that had a tarp. But we're going to get a different truck. Uh, probably get a trailer with seeds and lime on the back of it. Uh, that holds a little bit more potential. But yeah. This thing here, this... Uh, needs line and it's all it needs but anyway i will see you later in the next episode folks i hate to run off i gotta get this guy filled up with seeds and also i will catch you on next episode so y'all have a great day a blessed day and i will see y'all later bye